Good morning and welcome to our second on the road coffee video. <laughs> you may have seen that we recently pushed out a how we make coffee on the road video, which we absolutely love that setup. Yeah, we used definitely. it for a year and a half on the road and absolutely love it. It's a great way to get a really good cup of coffee on the road. But we have since come across this amazing coffee machine or espresso machine and it is a game changer. So we've said goodbye to that setup and adopted a new setup that we're going to show you this morning. All right, so this is everything you need in a stovetop espresso maker. It's called the Bellman Stovetop Espresso Maker and Steamer. CX25 or something. I don't know, I think it's the only one they have. But basically, it acts as like a percolator that you can apply pressure to. So rather than it being just like steaming through the beans, it's actually you let a build up of pressure come, so you end up extracting a stronger coffee. And then you also get to have a really nicely um, steamed milk by then actually being able to steam it as opposed to using a little uh, Aero Latte whisk that I still stand by. Still really good, but it's so nice having just a really, really creamy coffee and it's just insanely good when you get it right. Just like a percolator, we need to fill the main chamber with water. We do use a bit more water than a percolator does. And we also need to um, grind our coffee and whack it in this little basket here as well. So we're gonna fill that up, grind them, whack it in, and then we're ready to go. I'll fill that up for you, sir. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, thank you. Now to grind. Yep, still on that grind train. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a fancy machine for this, it's just a bit elbow grease. Squeaky elbow grease, <laughs> but it works. Surf check. This is where we'll often come. If there's waves, we'll normally be out there, but if not, we'll come up here, make a coffee, have a little watch of the waves, make a decision if we're gonna go out or not. I think so we should. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we just stop this video and go surf. <laughs> While Glenny is out there grinding away, I just wanted to pop on here and say a massive thank you to everyone who commented on our previous video where we spoke about how we do feel a little bit guilty sharing our travels while so much of the rest of the country and parts of the world are stuck in lockdown. We had an overwhelming amount of support from all of you and it just, it, I got very emotional and teary eyed because I didn't realize we had such an amazing community um, of supporters here and it, it was very heartwarming to know that you guys support us um, and you want to keep seeing videos so we're definitely going to keep sharing this amazing country with you for as long as we possibly can. We're going to be up in Exmouth for the next few weeks still, just because we just absolutely love it so much. And our plan is to then continue back down the coast. So we're not gonna go up over the top. We're gonna go back down to the Southwest and properly explore that. Oh, I'm so excited to share it with you. So we'll definitely keep these videos coming, but I just wanted to hop on and say thank you because we absolutely love this community and it, it really means a lot to us. All right, beans have been ground. Well done. Yes. Well done. My most rewarding thing in the day. So now I'm just going to fill this basket up. You can use pre-ground beans, but we just do love how fresh it is when you get to grind your own beans. So now, ideally you wouldn't do this in the wind, but we don't have much of a choice. Um, then just tamp it down like you would with like a normal espresso. Normally with a percolator you wouldn't because there's no real pressure when it comes to uh, the water going through the coffee. But now that there is pressure in this machine, it means that we can actually tamp it and make it nice and compact. But this is a special tamp because we have this little O-ring in the middle. So you do need a tamp with a hole in it. Now, anytime you do, if you do decide to buy one of these, um, you can just buy it with it either in a package or just as an add-on for like 20 or 30 bucks or something. <laughs> So let me just slip this in here. Put a little, make sure that thread's clean. Put a little top on. 
And then because this is a thing that builds up a lot of pressure, you gotta make sure your seals are really good. And then you've also gotta make sure you do it really tight. You can't have any real air leaks because it does get a lot of pressure build up. Whack that on the stove. And we're ready to go. Get her going. Get her going. Um, in a perfect world, you would pre-boil the water beforehand. So we've got friends that have a little like stove top kettle. We will invest in one, but because we're in Exmouth, there's nothing really anywhere. <laughs> and we find just going a little bit slower. But ideally you would pre-boil the water beforehand. So now we're just gonna let that sit and then basically keep an eye on this dial here that's gonna tell us where the pressure is. And this is where it starts to get a bit finicky. Like we can't give specific instructions because you end up playing around so much with either the coarseness of the grinds, how much grind, how much coffee you use, how much water you put in. Um, there's so many variables and this is where it becomes a bit difficult and some people haven't really liked these machines is it takes a little bit of getting used to what's right for you. Um, and then you figure out the appropriate pressures, etc., for pulling a nice coffee without it slamming out or not coming out at all so it's definitely we've got our own little way that's taken a good couple of weeks to get used to hence not posting the video sooner sooner but now i feel pretty good about it and it's really worth it So as I said before, obviously details are different for every person, but for exactly how we do it, generally we like to pull around when the bar's at like one to 1 1.5. Um, and also just have to be patient a little as well. So once you do actually open it, it's not gonna start flowing straight away. So then not rushing it and not like cranking on it too much and just waiting for that pressure to then start to come through the coffee to where we then hopefully get a nice consistency with our pour. Now that the coffee's poured, let the pressure build up a little bit more in the dial and then we're ready to foam our milk. It works basically the same as a, an espresso machine essentially, just heaps of pressure, heaps of steam, you foam it the same way, and you have cracking good coffee. You always want to purge it first before dipping it in your milk. Glenn's been working hard on his latte art lately. If you've been following us on Instagram, you'll see my story updates of his daily latte art. No. Yeah, <laughs> no. have a bit more confidence, Glenny. I don't know, the milk's getting better, but... I have a good feeling. I just don't know. What are you gonna make for us today? I think I'm just a love heart. A love heart. Just Aww. keeping it simple. Not your abstract art? Wow. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Texture's good, art is subpar. Oh, the art is beautiful. It's like when a kid draws you something and you're like, I love it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it forever on the fridge. No, I love it. You can definitely see the difference in the texture of this versus what our old coffees used to be like. So that's, that's a big difference between using a Bellman and a Percolator. Yeah, um, that's easily the biggest difference is that beautiful creaminess. It's so good. Yes. If you're a coffee obsessed like we are. We're not even that coffee obsessed. Like we're not like snobs, I don't think. Maybe we are. <laughs> we probably are. That's what all snobs say. Yeah. I'm not a snob. I'm not like them. I'm not like them. But it's just, you can't, it's like, it's like a cafe. Latte. Yeah. It's actually better because it's cheaper. And with a view like this. <laughs> Nice. Now pour yours. Yeah, well I need milk. I need to do the thing. Oh yeah. Alright, round two. What are you Let's gonna see make? See what the kids got. <laughs> what are you gonna make for us this time? Do something fun, like do your abstract art. <laughs> I 
my abstract up. Yeah. This one, I'm gonna get good at cupping. Uh, That's okay. It's your own style. My own style. Ooh, I have a good feeling about this. Yeah? Yeah. My right hand is so gummy. <laughs> what the heck? Look at that. Wow. Oh, Glenny. Just wonderful. These are the little joys. These, <laughs> these are the things. These are the things that make us happy. Yay. But the coffee is also so, so good. Yes. Looks good. Tastes good. All around. Amazing. Amazing. And it's not, I thought it might be kind of a, like a lot more of a process. Um, but it's actually very similar sort of time clean up and prep to the percolator and um, yeah. jug anyway. So yeah. maybe a tiny bit longer. The hardest part is just figuring out the settings for you and the right, all that encompassing. Then once you've got it dialed, it's actually like pretty simple to sort of get through and it's not too much admin. Yeah, so. it's worth it for coffees like this. <laughs> all right, now we're just going to sip these. Might go for a surf? What maybe, do you think? maybe. We've actually been moved to a morning clean now of our toilets. Yeah, so if you're new here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we clean toilets. <laughs> we are currently doing a work for stay situation at Yardy Homestead in Exmouth where we clean the toilets for an hour a day in exchange for free stay. It's definitely something that I wish we knew more about like previous times on our mm. trip because it's a really good setup obviously because you save heaps of money definitely particularly um, in a place like Exmouth. yeah where it's pretty hard to find camping um spots so like glenn said our cleaning time used to be in the afternoon now it's in the morning so we have to just we're gonna enjoy these probably go back to your clean and then we have the rest of the day to do all that fun stuff that the reason that we're here for what what <laughs> that wasn't a sentence the reason that we're here for. <laughs> i need so, my coffee so thanks for your comments we've decided we'll still bring you along for the day's activities I don't really know what, what the day's gonna bring, but we'll should bring be pretty you along. fun. These beautiful mugs are from a brand called Licorice Moon. They're handmade, I believe, in Sydney. So beautiful. We were, are big fans, if you haven't noticed, of, yeah. of handmade ceramics. It just makes the whole experience that much better, and you're supporting local and small businesses. So Yeah, yeah we'll and then if you do need any of the products, so as far as I know, the Bellman is only, I only found it at alternativebrewing.com. Um, and then a lot of other things I think you can just sort of gather around through Amazon and Alternative Brewing as well, which is an awesome coffee site. So we'll put some links below for that as well. All right, I've done our clean. Say goodbye to the email. Email you goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so random. And now off to the beach. Yes. Was that Glenny? Oh, it was okay. It was huge. Yeah. Yeah. Something to do on this lovely sunny day. But that wind's really picked up, so we're gonna head over to the other side where it's a bit more protected. We're at that point in the season where it's starting to get really hot and also very windy. So Lately, it's just been a matter of escaping the heat and just going for as many swims as we possibly can. But as you saw from that footage, it was way too big of a swell to even go for a swim. But thankfully, we have access to the other side of the peninsula, which is much calmer. So I think we're just gonna, yeah, set up there for the day. And then tonight, we're meeting up with friends in town and we're gonna go to a little live gig, be a little boogie, and that's our day way nicer over here wow oh 
Beautiful. No wind. Get me in that water. So hot. So that just about wraps up the day. The next few days are actually looking really windy, so I think we're just gonna buckle down and get some work done. Hope you really enjoyed this video and you liked our new coffee setup as much as we enjoy it. If you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and again thank you so much for those really really amazing comments on our previous video we will definitely keep these videos coming so we'll see you on the next one